position. It does. because we have that cross-section of public safety, federal assets, state and local, and military all combined to give the, the, the highest quality training scenarios possible. This is Charlie Warren for CHF Fire. Fire in the hole! All of our facilities simulate as best as possible a real-life situation. It's one thing to read about it. It's another thing to come to Raven's Challenge Never have I seen um, such good collaboration. So there is no situation here where you're gonna walk into it from a training perspective and be told, oh, but don't do this and don't break that. No, this is an opportunity to be like the real world. Not only do you, you bring together a diverse group of EOD bomb techs, but you allow them to free think. It better enables them to resolve that problem once they return home. It is the integration of experience on the Department of Defense side and the integration of experience um, from the ATF, FBI, local law enforcement and state law enforcement side. The opportunity for a bomb technician to actually try something. It may fail, but I'd rather it fail here where we are taking those precautions to keep them safe. You're not going to find it in a book. You're not going to find it within your unit. You're going to find it to come into a Raven's Challenge. Here in Arizona, we have the ability to train on 747 aircraft. Aircraft provide a whole unique challenge to a bomb tech. Range control, Golf One, message received, over. The military has great facilities. Uh, they provide us with the opportunity to use these facilities. A flooded village to a underground subway system to a wrecked FedEx airplane. We had the opportunity to offer an environment that you can't get really anywhere else. The settings of these scenarios add some grittiness, some reality to the experience. We're here at the Unmanned Aircraft Systems Threats Lane, or the UAS Threat Lane. The team came out, they identified that they had a, a weaponized UAS on the ground. They made a robotic approach and then executed a render safe procedure, which was successful. Plane's trying to fly. Send it. Go down. Down. We take the best and the brightest uh, of ATF and our other public safety partners to come here to be observer controllers at Ravens Challenge. They are on an HME scene, so they're trying to identify the HME, process the scene, and then dispose how they would. Got enough sample in there? Guys and girls out here running our exercises are the best, literally, that I can put my hands on. With international partners, uh, three-letter agencies, military, and the wealth of knowledge from the instructors. We fully operate independently with up to 20 teams operating simultaneously, live firing in a tactical field level event. But they can take those tactics, techniques, and procedures they've learned at Raven's Challenge and take that back home to keep the public safe. To get out of the classroom where they've practiced it and now to put hands-on experience in an environment just like they're gonna be operating when they're called to respond. They can actually uh, try a new method and, and figure out whether or not it's going to work. The threats that we and our partners face evolve. We have to evolve with them. We're dealing with emerging threats. Here, our biggest emerging threat is attacks on ATM machines. 
And so when we can draw lessons from the things that we see in the world, put them into our training exercises, that increases our effectiveness. So it allows you the opportunity to go out there and execute those types of scenarios with real world procedures, real world explosives and devices. We're also focusing on large scale explosions. Fire in the hole! Also explosions in a non-permissive environment. Here at the MBTA Mercy Training Center, I find it to be one of the most unique training facilities in the country. It's the most realistic training you're gonna get. We have the ability to control the lighting, the sound, add smoke, all from a command center. There is no substitute for the hands-on, real-world, practical experience that you'll get working with your partners at a place like Raven's Challenge. We're out here at the militia camp. They've entered one of the buildings, and right now they are deploying uh, a couple different kinds of x-ray systems. your best opportunity to practice what you've been working on for your entire career. And it's an excellent opportunity for any EOD professional to have the opportunity to come out here and improve their skill set. There is so much to learn. I don't know why you wouldn't want to, given the opportunity to come to one of these exercises. Come here, experience these uh, scenarios, learn from leading authorities in the country, and uh, you'll be blown away. Join us for Ravens Challenge 2022.